call vote. And we have uh, Wayne Pyro. Eric. 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 <laughs> Yeah, See, it's not just me, Jay. It's not just me, Jay. <laughs> it comes with this thing. It's really telling. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, we've got Wayne, and no. we have... No, this is Wayne. We, and we have Tony Belair. <laughs> yes. Yes, I approve. I approve. And Wayne. And I George approve. going to approve. Jane and Gwen Fox. Yes. And Catherine. Okay. Actually, so out of non public. <laughs> to stay in public. Answer right. your question. I, I make a motion that we uh, <laughs> seal the records. Is that correct? That we seal the records of the. So seconded. We have a um, motion and a second to seal the records of the non public session. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Eyes have it, and those records will be sealed. To answer your question about how the welfare process goes, is somebody has to contact me and say they're interested in applying for town welfare. The first step is they have to fill out the application. Um, they grab the application, and the application requires them to document their needs, um, documents all proof of income and expenses, um, any assets they may have, any assets in their name, any retirements, anything like that. Um, I go through the process of verifying that, interviewing them, meeting with them, um, and checking, and then seeing where they've spent their income, making sure it's on basic needs. Basic needs are determined as shelter, food, heat, lights, medication, um, and anything that supports life and health. So um, there are a lot of few things that people argue are basic needs that I have to say, no, they're not. For instance, I can't tell you how many arguments I've had about big screen TVs. Sounds crazy. What? Big screen TVs. People think they're basic needs. Yeah, well, if they have nothing else to do, they're watching TV. Yeah. Or Comcast. Library Another one is, is free. a big thing, or not Comcast, Metrocast. You know, TV, uh, cable. That's not a basic need. It doesn't support life and health, and that's what I have to bring it down to. I also do a lot of times, I have to spend time explaining to people you get your check, whatever your income is, you pay for your shelter first. Then you pay for your light bill because. You know, if you don't have a place to live, your lights, you know, that doesn't work. You pay for your food, your medication, those type of things. Again, we're supporting life and health. All those places. Is it market Basket or is it McDonald's or? Um, it's it's Market Basket. Um, you know, there, that, that's another issue, going out to eat all the time. I'll, I ask for bank statements and I'll go through and I'll circle. And I'll say, well, you know, let's talk about this. And sometimes it's just education. Again, it's mm -hmm. sometimes time it's people who don't, who've never fallen. Um, but then there are other times that I'm like, are you kidding? Um, but most of the time, it's just people who are just having a hard time. Um, and let's talk about options. Okay, you need to do a job search, but you don't have the internet home. How can we work around that? Great, we have a library. The town funds a library for you to use. Let's go to the library and let's help you access the job search there. So it's it's spending a lot of time doing that kind of stuff with the client and it reminding them that they need to spend their income on their basic needs. Um, getting their lights turned back on. They've been shut off. That's a problem. But, you know, that and that should be done very quickly because you don't want all the food that they have just purchased going bad in their fridge. So um, that's part of the reason why I try to maintain a real quick turnaround. Now, people are required to pay back welfare to the town for whatever was given to them at some point, which I don't know if it ever happens. But if, if we ever get foreclosures, we put a lien on the property, Okay. and occasionally we do get money back. Um, the liens are not one of the priority liens, and that's the problem. Mm -hmm. um, we do collect 6% annually, so sometimes every, every so many years we'll get a little check that's a few thousand dollars, and it's like a windfall, or I'll get a call from a settlement company, you know, ready to do closing, and they've done a search, and they'll say, oh, there, there's a lien on this mm -hmm. property. Um, the majority of my clients don't own property. Mm -hmm. If they do, I'm required by our guidelines and law to put a lien on the property. But the majority of mine don't. Um, I don't ever force the lien, so they live there for the rest of their life, and then if they die or whatever, they sell the property, and then that's when the lien comes. When it changes over, yeah. 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 Uh, reviewing the line item, it looks really good at this point in time. It's, it looks well within reason for the rest of the year. Being new to this, are there certain blips that we should be looking for during this period of time that may just kind of 
put a crinkle in that budget line? You're going to see a blip this month. Well, over the next month, six weeks, because fuel assistance won't kick in until December 1st. Okay. It's cold. Um, you're going to see that jump. You're also going to see that the electric shutoff um, protections aren't in place. A lot of times the electric companies try to get um, bills caught up before the winter, so that they're more aggressive about shutting off, so that's going to be another blip. Um, the National Grid was taken over by a company recently, and I ran into this last week. They did some shutoffs on Friday. Um, unfortunately, most agencies I deal with in New Hampshire don't do shutoffs on Friday, but this one happened to do it on a Friday, um, which caused a little bit of an issue. And it's a not, it was bought out by an out-of-state company that didn't feel that they could talk to me without having a re, you know a release because they were going by the New York laws. So that was a major problem, just trying to get these families helped. Um, and there was a, and believe it or not, there was a language barrier because I could not get somebody that. Um, so that was another issue. So um, you're going to see a blip, and they were not comfortable. They kept saying, well, I don't understand what town welfare was. I said, well, you're going to have, if you've just all taken over all the gas in mm -hmm. New Hampshire, you're going to have 235 of me calling. So you better figure this out pretty quickly. Yeah, no kidding. Um, because each town has to have a town welfare office. And so the policy, you're going to have to come up with a policy is how you're going to talk to people when you shut off the gas. Um, so yeah, you'll see a blip now. Usually, in December, we'll knock down a little bit because those things will settle out. Um, but again, the big thing that could throw any time is the a medical issue. All right. And then we own them. You know. Okay. Good. Thank you. Somebody's got a health uh, heart problems are, are notoriously expensive. Or if somebody dies, even. Somebody dies. Yeah. I mean. I, uh, this summer I, I covered for another town for a while and they had four deaths in a month. And um, they were all indigent. Mm -hmm. So you did four, you know, we had to do four cremations in that whole month. And there wasn't anything else. You know, you, know, you don't know mm -hmm. what could happen if you have fire, those type of things. But we have to budget for it. Well, anything else? Any more questions? Thanks, Heather. Oh, doing an excellent nice job. Thanks, Heather. Yeah. Well, I'm happy to come and talk to you guys. You guys are you guys are nice nice to job. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we try to thank her all the time. No, yeah, no. You guys are yeah. You guys are nice to me. <laughs> and some well, you do are. an excellent job. You do. I mean, it's it's. You I don't know how. I don't really know how you do that. You. I don't either. In my office. In your office. Yeah. Um, you stay nice and warm. Sometimes I'm really hot and sometimes I'm really cold. And Joanna and I are trying to work on that because <laughs> she controls my heat, I guess. <laughs> so and I it takes more to heat this, so you get yeah. The, yeah. No, so you get blasted There's out. Thermostat is. Your system yeah. is on this thermostat? Yeah. I told you, i got to get out of that spot. But that's a whole other issue. <laughs> oh. What's even better is we didn't know until, what, last year or something. Yeah, and I was freezing all the time or dying of the heat all the time. And, so yeah. when I shut the heat off and open the window, <laughs> I saw the good thing. <laughs> <laughs> now you know I brought it up. <laughs> 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 yeah, thanks a lot, Captain. <laughs> I'm glad I brought good. that up. <laughs> yeah, my spot is not ideal. It's a real sore subject. So, <laughs> but other than that, it's good. <laughs> good. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. That's been an issue. Let's see. Do we even get my dog? Mr. Chairman, do we have any other business? Yes, we do. I shall remain silent. Uh, last week, we diverse, uh, handed out a couple of um, the documents. Did, does anybody have those with them? Do you have, I think I um, gave mine back to you. You were going to cover it. You were going to copy it. And I gave that. Yes. Yes. And yep. You got yours back. Wayne took a look at that. Unless yep. you need some more time with it. I probably need the rest of the week. I need more do that? time. That yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Actually, and then go to change uh, my next I week, think, Jane. Was there any other ones? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be yeah. in the next week. No, I'm not either. Oh, John. Now that I have a little better understanding. Do you want to take a look? Yeah. Um, okay. That is very educational. Well, I guess. Anything else? Yeah. Anybody? Um, John, I just want to warn you. I'm going to be out of town next week. So, okay. yeah. I'm, I'm, gonna be out. I'm not going to be here next week. Okay. 
So we still have enough to for yep. quorum. Yep. So that's important. And next week we have what's on the agenda for next week? Cap. 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 You get the cap. Cap. Can I vote now for them? <laughs> cap. I vote for them. Well, if there's anything you'd like to say for them now. No, I just I I think they do a phenomenal I think they do job. Excellent and I don't job. Think so we've I got a thumbs up from very well spent. Lynn and Jane. And Jane and. Uh, we don't traditionally vote on all those right at that time right. anyway. But if I can't imagine what they'd say that changed my opinion because I think they just do a phenomenal job. Okay. Um, we could either adjourn the meeting or we could go through a couple of these and say we do or don't want to fund them. Is there any motions in that way? That I'll make a motion that we do not fund Genesis Behavioral Health. Second. Second. <laughs> um, so we have a motion and a second to not fund Genesis Behavioral Health. Um, discussion, is there anybody, seeing as you guys are new here, if you would like for them to come in or anything like that? I am all set. Kind agreeable on it. You all set? Okay. Okay, so we're going to uh, go ahead and vote on that. All those in favor of not funding Genesis Behavioral Health, say aye. Aye. Opposed? That's unanimous, so the motion passes. We'll not be funding Genesis Behavioral Health. I make a motion that we fund the Island Concert Series in the amount of $2,000. Second. second that. We have a motion and a second on the floor for uh, funding Island Concert Series for $2,000. Any discussion? Being I'll, none? I'll only, mm -hmm. I'll only say this for, for, for Eric and for Wayne. Um, uh, I'm sure you're both aware that the Island Concert Series has been ongoing down here and it is well attended by the population of Tilton, Northfield and several other towns in the area. Um, they have not raised the cost of the concerts in my tenure here, uh, six, seven years now. So I, I see no reason not to continue to fund them. They do provide, provide an, an excellent um, a, a, a series for the, for the town people. And the financials are always... I haven't seen any, there's no extra stuff in there. Right. Yeah. It's, if there's exactly. a concert that gets rained out, what happens to that money? Does it get paid to the band anyway? They have to pay the band right. anyway. The they, band shows up usually, unless it's canceled ahead of time. Mm -hmm. But they, they, their cancellation is only like two hours ahead of the schedule, isn't it? I mean, yeah. it's really yeah. close. They cut it close. It's only a small portion. Yeah. They also do their own fundraising for some of the bands. Northfield puts in 2000 and then they do the fundraising. Boy Insurance, I think, does one. They're sponsored the by Rotary different organizations. The Rotary out. does one, yeah. Okay. So we'll stay there. Any more discussion? Okay, so we have a motion and a second to fund the Island Concert Series for $2,000. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. We'll be funding the Island oh, Concert Series for $2,000. Um, we have, do we have, uh, we haven't seen anything from Old Home Day. Is there any word from Old we, Home Day? We contacted Pat, sent uh, an email, an email, email and saying that they were submitting it. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's been an illness, so that's why it wasn't submitted beforehand. Who's ill? Um, do you want to go to oh, right. cemetery or anybody want to? I make a motion that we, we fund the Park Cemetery Association in the amount of $4,200. Second. We have a motion and a second to fund the Park Cemetery Association for $4,200. Um, do we have any discussion? I, I think, seeing as we have two new members, uh, I don't know if you're we familiar with what the Park Cemetery uh, does. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's the town cemetery. They, they, you know, a lot of the. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people buried there. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> uh, they do the maintenance of the cemetery and, and yeah, the mowing and that they kind of stuff that, that <laughs> take care of the grounds and and um, don't they also assist in burials for for indigents sometimes? Not really, but the town is required by law to maintain a, a town cemetery, right. and that's the one we share with Northfield. Yep. You do a good job. Okay. 
So we have a motion in the second on the floor to fund the Park Cemetery Association for $4,200. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Mm -hmm. So be it. We fund the. Make a motion we fund Birch Hill Kennels for $5,500. Second. <laughs> That's our dog catcher, so to speak. We have a motion in the second on the floor for funding uh, Birch Hill Kennel for $5,500. Um, in discussion? No, but we're also required to. by law to have a town pound. We used to go to the Humane Society, but their price is much more than this, and because of the distance, we save on um, mileage and time for the police to deliver animals all the way to Madison Center. <laughs> and Don takes really good care of the, yeah. the animals, too. Actually, he lowered his price last year, I believe. Yes, for yeah. and he advises me as health officer. I've had a number of cat issues. I've had great conversations with him about feral cats. Okay. That would be the question. Do they do other than dogs yeah. at there? Yeah, so. Technically, by law, he's required to take any animal that we may have to cow, pig, horse, donkey. I'm horse. thinking more of the raccoon, uh, those little... No, wild animals go to... Um, fish and game. Fishing game. In our district is New Hampton. Yeah, it sits here in the BHK. Will not accept live or deceased wildlife. Okay. And do we use them a lot or for the frequencies yeah, up there? Pretty good. And the one thing about Birch Hill Kennels is <laughs> they get a frequent visitor. They'll call right up. They'll call the owner. Oh. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. So. They're pretty much right there. They're, he they're lives up there too. Pardon? He lives right there. He lives there. right yeah. there. So they're very good about calling the owner, and getting the animal back to the owner as soon as possible. <laughs> People are so much better now than they used to be about keeping their animals. I mean, because you have to be the police laws yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. It's not the, quite the same as when I was growing up. That you didn't know necessarily where your dog was. We have uh, the all the financials or all the, the information on billing on that. Okay, and that's more of a contract than, than yeah, that one's a, yeah yeah you said we it was really tough before driving having the police drive all the way up to Meredith to drop off a dog and then the owner would have to go claim them up there as well and maybe <coughs> to be a little bit more responsible too no yeah. well, certain people just will never <laughs> right, take someone would say yeah it's not worth going up yeah, there and abandon it okay so we have motion a second any more discussion <laughs> Being none, we'll vote on that. So that is to fund Birchill Kennels for $5,500. Are you making a motion? That, uh, we're going to vote on the motion. Okay. Aye. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, so move. The funding for the Birchill Kennels is $5,500. The other two, the CASA and the old home day that we don't have um, under one? review, we haven't received financials, financials but we haven't received anything for mm. We don't have them on the schedule either. The old home day, um, we, all, we all know what the old home day mm. is. And yeah, American yeah. Legion was a specific, that was for the statue. That was, that was one, yeah, one, one time. Yeah. That was for the monument. Yeah. So the, the war monument. Yeah. The, the multi-war monument. Okay. So yeah. we uh, we got through a couple of the agencies and we've... Um, covered everything on the agenda. Done. One more? Uh -huh. That would be great. Okay, excellent. Will that um, budget be to us? Well, I'm sure they'll bring it in. A week before, at least. They're working on that right now with Tim. Okay. Okay. Make a motion to adjourn. We have a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? No. None. <laughs> <laughs>
Excellent. Thanks. Okay, See next week. See you guys the week after. No. Can I uh, prevail on you for a ride? Uh, next week thank you. Meeting. Is it your dog? My dog likes. So we're gonna yeah. We won't see you for a couple Lucy. weeks. Yeah. Got to get him together. Yeah. Your dog is such a runner, though. Oh, he is a cute dog. Yes. I really yeah. like your dog. That's, that's why we don't. Oh, I know. I mean, I can see that because he'd be yes. off like a shot. <laughs>